Hi, my name's Rosemary Brown. I'm the wine expert for Big Dinner 2, a great charity which is run by 500 Miles, which helps people in Malawi and Zambia walk again. Now, you might be thinking for your Big Dinner 2 that you need to be in the kitchen a long time, cooking lots of meals for your friends, for your fundraiser. But you don't have to do that. You could maybe go to um, an artisan cheesemonger like Ian Mellis or George Muse and buy three or four artisan cheeses and match them with wines and bring and invite your friends around and do a fundraiser that way. So I'm going to give you some tips on matching white wines with cheese this time and I'm going to do another video on matching red wines with cheese. So just remember when you're matching cheese and wine that you need to match the acidity and the texture and the fatness of the cheese and maybe the tannins in the wine. And if you've bought some artisan cheeses, they have been matured a little longer, so they will have an intense flavour. So you probably won't need quite so much in terms of quantity because of their intense flavour than if you bought the cheese in a supermarket. So my first cheese that I'm going to talk about is a wonderful goat's cheese here, St. Tola Log, it's called St. Tola Log, and it comes from Ireland. It's made by Siobhan Gerbit in um, County Clare, Galway, and it's a lovely, soft, creamy, dense goat's cheese. She's got 280 goats. She used to be a teacher and then became a cheesemonger or cheesemaker um, about 20 years ago. And she makes really good cheeses. So this is Centola Log. And you can see here that it's covered with a gray ash and that's edible. Um, in the old days, they used to burn vine cuttings and cover their cheeses. But this is just an edible um, vegetable ash and it basically slows down the maturation and reduces the moisture and um, discourages any microbes. So you can eat that. So it's a really delicious, creamy goat's cheese. There are other goat's cheeses you can buy. You could buy Elric Log from Scotland or Valence, Valence from Cret or Cretin from France. Um, and they would do the job just as well. So a goat's cheese goes very nicely with a Sauvignon style wine. But I decided that um, I thought that you probably all know about Sauvignon. So I'm going to introduce you to a different grape variety. I'm going to introduce you to the ferment grape variety, which is grown in Hungary. So this wine is a delicious wine called Eggy Kiss ferment. It's a dry ferment, it's unoaked, so it is actually quite similar in style to a Sauvignon Blanc. It's made by the Barter family up in Tokai region in northeast Hungary. And as I said, they make different styles. This is this lovely zippy, tangy style, unoaked, but they do also make oaked ferment and also they do make the famous sweet styles from ferment as well. This is in, sold in at Corny and Barrow for £14. So it's got a lovely, it's got sort of limey, sort of apple character and it's quite richly textured and minerally. Mm. It's got lovely acidity, which I think will match really well with this lovely goat's cheese. Okay, so that's the first of my recommendations. My second recommendation is a wonderful cheese called a Lancelot. So here we are, we've got a Lancelot cheese here. Okay, and I'm gonna just unwrap it and show you what it looks like unwrapped. So Lancelot. Now this is a soft ewe's milk cheese and it's made by the Errington family. Humphrey Errington first started making cheeses in the 1980s and his daughter Selina Cairns now makes um, really good cheeses. And this is so Lancelot is one of her new cheeses and it's really lovely. Um, it's actually seasonally made. It's made between March and August and it's lovely fresh and tangy and it's got a sort of gentle sort of earthy sort of brightness to it. So a really nice sheep's cheese and it's soft and it gets quite runny when it's mature. So I'm going to match that with a wine from the Loire Valley in France. 
I'm going to match that with a Vouvre. This is a Vouvre sec. And this is actually comes from a special plot called Renaissance. So Sebastian Brunet is a small producer. He's got about 18 hectares, but this is his Renaissance is his two hectare plot. And it's on the back of the label. You can see here it's made from the Chenin Blanc grape variety grown on chalky limestone soils. And the age of the vines is 50 years. Okay. Vouvray sec. You can get different styles of Vouvray. This is the drier style. You can get a demi sec and you can get a milieu sweeter, but this is the dry style. And I think it would go very well with the soft used milk cheese. So lovely. Chenin Blanc has a lovely sort of honeyed note to it. And, and Loire whites are, are, have this wonderful, refreshing, invigorating, quite sort of nervy style, uh, nervy as in high acidity. Um, and, but it's got, this wine has got a really lovely, it's got a lovely sort of honey depth to it, really racy, really honeyed. So I think that would go really nicely with the Salon Salot. Milk, uh, used milk cheese. Now, if you can't find Sir Lancelot, there's another very good cheese here called Flower Marie, which is this, it's made in Sussex, but it's a uh, soft used milk cheese. And it's quite similar in that with a bit of maturity, it can get quite runny, but it's got a lovely creamy, dense character. So that's another very good cheese to look out for. So I've given you three different cheese choices and a couple of wines and to, do email me if you want to ask me any other questions, but please look out for my next video on matching red wines with cheese. Um, best of luck with your fundraiser um, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for watching.